Hello friends, this video on combustion and flame part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we are talking about substances which undergo combustion and those which do not undergo combustion. Now take one thing strike your mind. The combustible substances which we are talking about, what are they? They are substances which are being burned during which they are reacting with oxygen and they are releasing a lot of heat and light. So basically they are producing a lot of energy in the form of heat. So they are nothing but fuel. They are acting as fuel. So fuels are nothing but combustible substances which release enough heat energy to be used for domestic and industrial purposes. So basically any fuel, what, what is a fuel? What kind of examples comes to your mind when you think of a fuel? You think of coal, you think of petroleum, you think of natural gas. These are all examples of fuels for you. Petrol, diesel, these are all fuels. Why are they fuels? Because they are capable of generating huge energy. How do they generate that energy? By the process of combustion. Only when they react with oxygen, they are able to release a lot of energy and that energy is released in the form of heat and this process is combustion. So basically fuels are nothing but the combustible substances but at the same time not all combustible substances are fuels only those combustible substances which release sufficient amount of energy so that that energy can be utilized for different purposes. For example, the energy that is generated by burning coal is utilized in several thermal plants to generate electricity. Right? Similarly, the energy that is generated out of petroleum, whether it is petrol or diesel, so that is used to run vehicles. So that means the energy is huge enough to be used for different purposes. So that those kind of combustible substances are fuels. Let us look at some examples of fuel. So first example is coal. So you, we can even look at some other examples like petroleum, wherein you have petrol, diesel. These, these are also examples of fuel. You have example of the LPG which are there, which are just put inside your cylinder. So this also has sufficient, this also generates sufficient heat energy, which helps in our domestic purpose of cooking. Natural gas, biogas or cow dung cakes. In fact, in villages and rural areas, you would have seen that uh, they really do not use LPG gas cylinders and all. They often use the cow dung cakes and with that, uh, they try to prepare food. So cow dung cakes, however, there are a lot of disadvantages associated with the usage of cow dung cakes because they produce a lot of pollution. They produce a lot of smoke, which is disadvantageous to the health of the women preparing food. But yes, they are still considered as good fuels because they generate a lot of energy. Wood is another example of fuel. So when you burn wood, it, it, the energy generated is huge enough that you can uh, actually prepare food. So it can actually boil things. So that much heat energy is generated during the process. Now, when we talk about a fuel, what do you think defines a good fuel? How do we know which is a good fuel and which is not? Because just now I gave you so many examples. I told that cow dung cakes are also fuel, but they are not preferred to be used because they cause pollution, because they adversely affect the health of the women. Now, so in a similar way, I mean, what are those characteristics which defines whether a fuel is a good fuel or a bad fuel? So let us quickly look at the characteristics of a good fuel. First of all, it should be easily available. Now, if that fuel is not available, then I mean, then there is no point because the fuel is not accessible, so we cannot use it. So even though it has a lot of properties, but that doesn't make any sense. It has to be cheap. If it is very expensive, then a lot of people will not be able to use it. So it has to be extremely economical. Burns easily to release heat because a fuel is something which generates energy. In order to generate energy, it has to react with oxygen. Now, the, easily, the easier it reacts with oxygen, the better it is because it immediately reacts with oxygen and a lot of energy is released. So that energy release is the most important thing, is the basic definition of a fuel. So it should burn very easily and it should release a large amount of heat. 
So the larger the amount of heat it produces, the larger energy it produces and then that huge energy can be utilized for different domestic purposes or industrial purposes. Does not leave undesirable residues behind to cause pollution. Now this is very very important when we uh, decide which is a good fuel and which is not. Now most of the fuels, in fact a lot of fuels, they generate a lot of energy in the form of heat but at the same time they also produce a lot of harmful gases. They generate a lot of smoke, they, they leave a lot of residue after being burned. Now even if you completely burn a particular substance, you see that for example when you burn paper, what is left behind? You have ashes left behind. So now that is called residue. So whatever is left behind after complete combustion of that substance, that is called residue. So any fuel which leaves behind a lot of residue. So what happens to that residue? That residue, if it is something which is harmful, then that is waste to our environment because it is just using that fuel is actually piling up those waste materials in the environment. So while deciding whether a fuel is good or not, it is very important to check the type of residue that is being left after the process of combustion is over. And a good fuel is one which does not leave a lot of undesirable residue so that uh, it doesn't cause environmental pollution. Now it is very important to see that the fuel which we are categorizing as a good fuel is good for the environment because if it is harming our environment then basically there is no point in generating energy from such a fuel which in turn is causing harm to the environment and is causing harm to us. Thank you. Please visit www.examfuel.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.